Antelope Discrete 4 Synergy Core is a fully featured audio interface that has four analog ends for mic line and instrument sources, as well as built-in effects processing for running Antelope's Synergy Core effects in real time. The analog ends feature Class A discrete mic preamps, and the units loaded with Antelope clocking and A to D and D to A conversion with up to 121 decibels of dynamic range. Four headphone outs, each with their own separate Q-mixes, provide options for tracking, while DC-coupled outputs on the rear allow you to easily incorporate outboard gear, as well as send control voltage to analog synths. The Discrete 4 Synergy Core comes with a starter library of 36 effects that runs on the unit's internal DSP-FPGA hybrid processing core. Bundled effects include mic preamps, EQ and compressor models, along with guitar and bass amp and cab models. This library is expandable via the Antelope website, where you can find effects in virtually any category, uh, from mic preamps all the way up to auto-tune. The Synergy Core means that you're able to take advantage of these effects in real time without latency while you're tracking. You can also use them in Mixdown. The Discrete 4 Synergy Core is cross-platform. It's compatible with both Mac and PC, and it includes both USB and Thunderbolt connections. We're also going to talk about the Edge Solo Microphone. This microphone is a modeling mic. It's a single membrane cardioid-only microphone that can emulate up to 18 microphones. It's not dependent upon being used with an Antelope system. It can be used with any recording interface, uh, thanks to a native plugin that will allow you to go in after the recording's taken place and change the uh, microphone characteristics. However, it does really come alive when it's used in conjunction with an Antelope interface such as the Discrete 4 Synergy Core. The onboard processing on this interface means that you can take advantage of these mic emulations while you're tracking, you can monitor through them, and print them at the same time with near zero latency. So let's check out some tracks. First up, you're gonna hear an acoustic guitar that was recorded using the Edge Solo mic through the Discrete 4 Synergy Core interface. Uh, there was no processing applied, so we're actually gonna be using the plugin inside of Pro Tools, the Edge Solo plugin, to change the mic emulation. So let's check it out. Here's it, the Edge Solo setting. Check out something else. So there were several large diaphragm condenser emulations that I cycled through during playback, and you can hear how each one of those brings a different sonic signature to the acoustic guitar. So let's go and take a listen to the electric guitar now. I've got a simple electric guitar part here. This was recorded actually just plugged straight in. The uh, guitar was plugged directly into the interface, and I'm actually using the AFX to door plugin here, which allows me to utilize the plugins that can be run on the Discrete 4 Synergy Core. Taking advantage of this DSP, I can utilize them in the door. And the way I have this plugin set up right now is kind of a blackface style amplifier and a 212 uh, speaker cabinet with uh, two different microphones on, on each side. So let's take a, a bit of a listen to this and we can see what we can accomplish here. Adjust the EQ. Can actually also adjust the mic position too if I want. If I want to just hear one mic. along with a 45 degree mic that I can blend in if I want. 
All right, and as I mentioned before, it's possible to take advantage of the DSP that's available on the interface to run plugins live while you're tracking. And Auto-Tune Synergy is one of those plugins that can really help you out if you're like me and you're not really a vocalist. So um, I've recorded a very, very simple uh, vocal part here, and I tracked this using the Auto-Tune uh, plugin to help me out. <laughs> And um, I recorded it using the Edge solo mic, but with no emulation. So I'm actually going to show you the different, some different emulations as this is uh, playing really quick. So let's check this out really quick, and you'll hear the auto tune kicking in. Trust me, because I'm not very good. Sing I'm not a very good singer. I will run, run, run through the fields of mercy down to the riverside. I will run, run, run through the fields of mercy down to the riverside. Okay, so kind of made me sound like halfway, like I halfway knew what I was doing there on that vocal track. I'm not going to lie, it didn't make me sound like a Grammy winning vocalist, but good enough for me for a demo or something like that. Um, and if you have some vocal ability and vocal talent, you know, just think it's going to be so much, so much better. But um, let me just play that for you again. And this time I'm actually also going to engage um, a, a compressor using the AFX to door plugin. Let me create a new playlist here. So vocal with uh, comp. All right. And let's try that. I will run, run, run through the fields of mercy down to the riverside. I will run, run, run through the fields of mercy down to the riverside. Okay, so definitely helps to sweeten it up a little bit. Um, so let's hear these three uh, all together as a mix now. Um, these three parts, the acoustic guitar, the vocal, and the electric guitar. And I've added some reverb in as well. i am just put that in. Um, the reverb, incidentally, is is not an, not, they're not antelope plugins, they're even type plugins, but, because um, that's just what I had available here. But let's, uh, Take a listen. I will run, run, run through the fields of mercy. So there's a brief overview of some of the things that are possible using the Antelope Discrete 4 Synergy Core audio interface with accompanying plugins and the Antelope Edge Solo modeling microphone. If you're interested in finding out more information about these two pieces or any other Antelope audio uh, products, you can head on over to AmericanMusical.com.